Hey, what's going on guys? I've got a commission that I finished up for Dan. Dan reached out to me quite a while ago and I told him I would be happy to help him out when I had an opening. And um, he was extremely patient, waited a long time. And then I was like, send it my way and I would be happy to do it. So what I have here is his KR flagship from the Sabre Armory. I've done quite a few of these. Um, I have one myself that I turned into my Orgus Den inspired lightsaber. One of my favorites, did a long time ago. I love these hilts. They are very, very straightforward to install, install friendly, and the customization on it is insane. I mean, you can go so many different ways on doing these hilts, they're amazing. The etching, I didn't do. This is by uh, my friend Pete at uh, Bad Batch Etching. I've had the pleasure of seeing a bunch of Pete's etch work. As, uh, he even did the shroud of my Orgus Den, my actual shroud and the side pieces, and I love it. But every time I've seen his work, it's just, it's always really cool to see it up close and personal. Pictures don't really do them justice whenever you're looking at them. So you got like a little Mjolnir here. Full brass. Only thing I did was I did the wood veneer. He asked me to do a wood veneer grip for him which is actually like kind of one of my last pieces I had. I got to restock it up. Wood veneer and a cover tech. He sent the cover tech and asked me to put it on there for him. So did that. Uh, it has a, this is just a Saber Forge blade plug right now. Um, I will make you something just so you have one, Dan, but uh, he didn't send one, a blade plug with it. So, but any blade plug will do, any one inch blade plug. This has the lit uh, CC Sabers NeoPixel connector down here. So all you got to do is just find a blade plug that fits. Um, it has Ciroc Sabers dual tactile switch that we did here. CFX, the Crystal Focus 10, 18650 removable battery with a Smoker's Outpost 28 millimeter speaker. So the one thing I did was I made a chassis for him. So he was like, hey, uh, I have a chassis or something, or we could do something. And I was like, just, I'll uh, do a custom one if you want. Something I very much enjoy. So on this side, it says KR Sabers, flagship, KR flagship. Yeah, KR flagship. And then on this side, I did a uh, Nerf Herder Customs there, but I just tried to follow with the motif, kind of to try to somewhat Greebly-esque, but I tried to kind of, kind of match it a little bit. So you got your CFX right there, easy access to your SD card, removable battery, spring sides are negative, obviously. <laughs> Slap that guy in there. Now, this dude, like any of my savers, um, I tried my best to close these speakers to enclose them. Anytime you fully enclose your speaker, you're gonna have the best potential for sound. It's just the name of the game, baby. And these things always sound really good when you do them right. So there's your shine through. And again, this is just a blade plug, same force blade plug, one I have around the desk. You don't ever have to touch this guy. This guy right here is your blade retention screw. There's all your CC savers, connector. And we'll put that blade in there. It takes a one inch blade like all uh, of the flagship savers. Once you get it down in there, give it a little compression springs, kind of push it down, hold it, tighten it down. Once that's tight, you're good to go. So I um, kind of set everything how I normally do it. So hope you like it. I always forget how heavy these glass flagship brass flagships. I always forget how heavy they are until they take swing around. It's really good there. Love it in a green.
in your spectrum, I got you set to press auxiliary and twist. Spectrum. And you just rotate the wheel so you get the colors you want. And then land on the one you like. Always looks good in the green. But I also always really enjoy this guy right here. So I do have like a UI pack, which I've been putting on all my savers. It'll take away the spectrum and all the clicks and boots and different sounds will be different. Uh, Dan, if you want me to do that, let me know. Um, I also haven't touched any of the fonts. We didn't discuss any fonts to go over. So this is just the stock fonts, but I switched them all over to having, you know, smooth mode and all that stuff and got it set up right. Looks really good in this color. I love it in this color. It's a little heavy so the accent swings, you gotta kinda you gotta kinda swing it. Can lower the sensitivity on the accent swings. That's completely up to you. Uh, actually, Revolt. Revolt's pretty cool. I enjoy the stock some of the stock fonts I do enjoy when they made up smooth swing. Dan, you were right to go with the wood grip. I mean, you can't ever really go wrong with the wood veneer grip. But... Feels good. So there you go, Dan. Um, thank you so much for your patience on everything, man. The, I know I, on my list doesn't ever open very often, so thank you for being patient. Yeah, uh, turned out great, man. Wood grip, like I said, you were right. This <laughs> tank needed it. Leather grip would've been nice too, but it just makes it seem a little bit more elegant, I guess. I don't know, I'm always a fan to slap a wood grip on things. All right, man. I will be in touch. Uh, it's ready to go. If you are um, happy with everything or if there's any last minute changes you want me to do, um, you know, let me know. And I'd be happy to do it for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I got a ton of videos. <laughs> got a lot of videos coming out. I've done a few things, so um, I'm going to try and get those out here when I can. But thank you so much for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you.
looking.